Now, this lesson is going to be all about taking this ugly, ugly layout and turning it into something that looks more like this. And this is probably a little bit more familiar to you. A lot of sites he uses this login on the left, register on the right type setup. And it is super simple to do. It's going to take us just a couple minutes, but we do have special modules created just for you to make this process very painless. Okay, so now to go ahead and build this out, we are going to start playing with our account area where all our endpoints live. Now you'll see that by default, we have had um, the view machine accounts will create a dashboard for you. So what does your My Account area look like? It has created a login area and a navigation area. And actually I want to show you, if I went over here, because we already know that the endpoint for your account area is my account. And if you're not, oh, it's just account, sorry. If you come back here to the machine settings, it will tell you, okay, well, what's the slug for your account page? It's just account. So if I actually was to come up here and I'll have to drag this window down a bit to show my URL. If I go in and type in account, you can see that it loads up the My Account area. So we're going to have to design this out in one of the next lessons, but we're obviously just targeting the login page right now. So I'll just get this nice and perfect again. So we just have to come back here to the dashboard or the back end of our Divi site, and we'll go back to accounts. And of course, if we want to change the way that our login page looks, we just edit this. Now, when we get in here, we can already see that we have two modules in there that are Divi Machine Accounts modules that were added for you. I just want to hop back here quickly to the slug setup. And you can see that the layout settings, the slug for login is going to be login. So I'm going to come here on my incognito window. And I just want to show you me typing into the URL up here. It's going to be login. And it loads up that layout that we have there. So that's pretty cool that it's already in there. So any type of login links or my account links or stuff like that you have on your navigation for your site or buttons on pages and stuff needs to go to that slug. You can change it to anything you want it to be, but that's how we kind of start all of this up. So let's go back to account. We're going to go into editing the login. And as you can see, a lot of the setup is done already when you start out. So we'll fly through this. We're going to go ahead and set the background color to that gray. We'll come to the module and then click on the settings. And now you can call this anything. You can call this log into my account, you know, something like that. Whatever you want to do, you can add and remove the remember me, you can add and remove the lost password. It's entirely your world here. And then we can say, let's go. To, no, we'll just do that. Let's go to log in. Nice and easy. So the background color you can set here. And we already know that we're working with two columns here. Um, when we look at the other design that we're trying to recreate here, but, you know, you can really do any type of layout. You know, this is what we're building, but you can really, you can have it above and below. You can have all sorts of different things. You can put register in the first column, login in the second. It's entirely up to you um, because they control those modules. It's super easy. And you build this out just like you would any other Divi layout. So coming back over here, now that we cleared that up, um, we've got that background. We'll set that to white. And it looks like we need to create a little bit of room here. Um, so we can go to the design tab and spacing. I like to do that nice and early because it just gives you a little bit more of a visual representation of what you're building. And 40 pixels works for me to create a nicer roomy atmosphere. Why not? Um, since we're here by the border, why don't we just go ahead down here and scroll to the form round corners. And I'll just put those at 10 pixels each. That's looking fine to me. And I think, yeah, when we're hovering the button, yeah, that's going to need a little bit of love. Um, so we'll go to the button styles. Couldn't be easier. Just, you know, you see, it's so easy to manipulate these modules that we create for you guys because it, it just uses that familiar Divi interface, right? So let's go ahead and, and for the um, button radius here, we need to change that hover state, right? So that it has... That rounding, we've done this about 20 times now throughout this course. I think you're a pro at it by now. And a little bit of margin on the left side wouldn't hurt anybody. So let's go ahead 
find all margin settings. And let's put about 20 pixels, I think is good. Just so that these two aren't scooched up on each other too much. Now, I don't love this gray color. So I'm going to, for the form field input, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the fields. We'll set the background to this same gray we have in the background here for the text color. I'm going to go with my blue. And you can change things like the focus color. Like you have so many options here. You can add margin, you can add padding, you can do a ton of crazy stuff. I want to go ahead and make my font style light. And I'm going to bump up the size to about 16 pixels. And I think that is pretty much all we're going to do here. Um, oh, yeah. Of course, we want to change just that title text. Um, so we'll just come over here. I'll make that just a bold blue color. Yeah, that works for me. So that's the login portion of our login page. So let's click on the register. And then we'll say register a new account. There we go. And then you can say, okay, well, do you want them to auto log in once they do register? So they don't have to go and type the email again and type the password again. You know, you want to reduce friction for users. So that's a great setting to utilize there. And you can also say, okay, well, what type of role do you want users to have? Maybe you have some custom roles on your site that have certain abilities. Maybe you're using some type of um, plugin that, that defines roles. And then, of course, Divi also has some built-in role tools for you to utilize where you can enable or disable certain settings based on the user role. Again, we'll set the background to our white. And then first things first, I got to get that padding out of the way, man. Otherwise, I am not a happy camper. I like that room. It makes me claustrophobic. Cool. Padding is in. So let's just work it from the top down again. We're going to set our background color to gray. Field color is going to be blue. And that is really going to be almost all we do. We're just going to set that field font weight to light. We'll make the size 16 pixels. And that's that on that one. So we also need to fix the button yet again. So we'll go button, custom styles, and then we'll hit up that border radius on the hover settings and just set that to 50. And I mean, this must feel like second nature by now. For me, it certainly does, but it's probably because I do this a lot. Um, button icon placement, all that fun stuff. You can control the padding, but because we don't have that text and we don't need to create that room, I'm not going to bother with that. And you can do button shadow and all sorts of crazy stuff if you feel like it. Title text needs a little bit of a, a spruce. Um, so we'll just go ahead and make that old. We'll give it that blue also. And that looks good. And last but not least, on spacing, no, not spacing, border. We've got input border styles, but we don't have that same form border styles on there. I know the dev team is working on that. So we just need to add a little bit of CSS here. So you go to custom CSS and you just have to manually write the CSS for this. It's very easy. You just type in border dash radius. Hold on, and then you can go 50 pixels if you want to be crazy, or just do the 10 that we did on the other one. You'll be just fine. Cool. Guys, so that is our login and register screen. So if we save that and then come back on the front end of our site here, there's my local site, and I refresh this immediately. It looks perfect. So guys, that has been the login and registration page for your site. It's super easy to do. It's just two modules, but you can do a ton of crazy things. I mean, it, it really is up to you because it is just the regular Divi Boulder. You can, if I wanted to, I can add a single column row over here. I can add uh, bar counters to it. I don't know what you want to do. That's entirely up to you. You can put extra images on here. You can put backgrounds. You can do a ton of different stuff as you wish. So yeah. That's that. Now, in the next lesson, we are going to be building out just this My Account area. We'll be focusing on the layout that the users see on this My Account page. And if we look at what we have currently, this is not fantastic. We're going to want to make this look a little bit better. And we'll start by adding our users' most recent posts. So that is going to look something like this guy right here. So let's get going and do that in the next lesson. So I'll catch you right there real soon.